Federal State where Governor Gordon Obaseki says the completion of the College of Agriculture will create a good number of employment opportunities in the state. He disclosed this after inspecting the ongoing work at the college in Ovia Southwest Council area. Paul Ezenwa reports. Following the continuous slide in revenue generation and economy caused by the dwindling crude oil price and COVID-19 pandemic, Governor Obaseke believes funding for the reconstruction of the School of Agriculture is a priority project to his administration in view of the role of agriculture in the state's economic development. The governor says the huge investment in this campus is to help the students acquire proper education in a conducive environment. It is clear, like we've said, that in the next few years we will not have the kind of resources we have from crude oil and we will have to rely on agriculture and without the people well trained human capacity there's no way we will be able to produce agricultural commodities and food competitively like it's done in the rest of the world so this is our number one priority this is like investing in your oil field but there's no relationship between the old school and this one the other one has been closed down and the law setting it up has been repealed so there's no relationship between that school and the school he expressed optimism that the state will be well positioned in the nearest future through the present huge investment in the agricultural sector. As we promised, we expect that the school will begin operations sometime before the middle of next year. And I'm quite impressed with the quality and the speed of work. The last time we were here about four months ago, most of these buildings were at the foundation stage. As you can see, uh, work has progressed and in the next uh, couple of weeks, according to the contractors, we will be roofing and the uh, finalization of the interiors will be on. Um, we expect to have eight departments. Our consultant is here, Professor Balogun, and um, we have closed the the uh, Staffing, I believe we have um, interviewed the key staff, the principal officer that will run the school, they're in place. We already have made a lot of progress in terms of accreditation. The project is expected to be ready for academic activities before the end of next year. Paul Ezenwa, TVC News, Benin.